Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're finally getting this show on the road. One year and 25 minutes late. Yeah? yeah? But she's here. So she's ready to say I do to you, Brad. So, ladies and gentlemen, would you please stand? Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please put your hands together and welcome Brad and Shannon yeah. to their wedding day. I think you can do better than that, to be honest. Come on. <laughs> we have waited a year for this day. Yeah. An extra year. <laughs> An extra year and 25 minutes. <laughs> well, family and friends, good afternoon and welcome to this most beautiful location to celebrate a very special occasion, the wedding of Bradley Harper and Shannon Heath. Today we stand together beside beautiful Pitwater to witness the commitment that Brad and Shannon are about to make to each other and to wish them well and every happiness in their life together. Now my name is Louise Spedding, I'm a registered marriage celebrant and I really am very, very honoured to be here today to conduct this very important and meaningful wedding ceremony. So Brad and Sh Shannon stand before you today, their family and their closest friends the people that are most important to them, as they pledge their life and lifelong commitment to each other. Now, some of you have known them for many years and some of you have only known them in more recent times. And they are honoured that all of you are here today to witness and to celebrate yep. the love and commitment that they share and the beginning of their life together as husband and wife. Now, you are their support network, the group of people with whom they can share and create memories with, so on their behalf, I'd like to thank you all very much for attending today, especially those of you who have travelled great distances to share in this celebration. And a very big thank you all for waiting patiently for this special day. <laughs> I know that it really does mean a great deal to both Brad and Shannon that you are here to celebrate with them. Now, unfortunately, Brad's nana, Jean, is unable to attend today, but I know that Brad and Shannon are thinking of her fondly. Now, there are special days in our lives when we wish that certain people were still with us, and today is one of those days. Whilst Brad's grandma, Nancy, his grandpa, Jack, and Shannon's nan, Betty, are not physically present, they are here with us today in spirit and would be absolutely delighted with this union, and this definitely is a celebration that they wouldn't have missed for the world. <coughs> So marriage to Brad and Sh Shannon signifies a special bond 
where they will find happiness, joy and fulfilment in each other. They are already a couple on a journey through life together and this ceremony today serves only to make them stronger for the rest of their travels. Theirs is a union based on love and friendship and the numerous interests that they have in common. So they can continue to grow as people with the unique knowledge that they know that they have found their life's companion. So today they're sharing with you all that the qualities that they find in each other are such that they would like to spend the rest of their lives together. This marriage ceremony gives recognition to a union that has already taken place in their hearts and is a statement of commitment to each other and to the ideals that they share. Now this commitment is a promise to face the future together, accepting all the responsibilities that comes with a loving marriage. Now this certainly is a testament of the love and devotion that they share and will continue to share throughout their married life together. So, with those values in mind, we are all gathered here today to witness and to celebrate the vows of marriage Brad and Shannon will shortly make to each other and to watch on as they embark on the next step of their lifelong journey together. A journey that began when modern technology first brought them together, both swiping right, <laughs> and they arranged to meet for a coffee at the sandbar down at DY Beach, where they talked and talked and talked. <laughs> they got on so well that they decided that they'd like to see each other again and well, as they say, the rest is history. So from that first day through to this very special one, Brad and Shannon have shared many beautiful and memorable moments together, including a surprise proposal on a weekend away in Newcastle. And I'm told that there's a good story to be told here which I'm sure will come up later at the reception. <laughs> Brad and Shannon share a wonderful relationship which they describe as supportive of each other's goals and hobbies and one which has progressed very, very naturally. They always put the other first and are best friends and soulmates. They make a great team alongside their fur baby, Bailey. <laughs> and Bailey is pretty cute, isn't he? <laughs> Now in their spare time, Brad and Sharon love exploring, going on road trips, rides on the motorbike, enjoying a nice meal, taking Bailey for long walks or spending time with family and friends. Anything really, as long as they are by each other's sides, as they could not imagine life without the other. Today they look forward to the next chapter in their lives as husband and wife, enjoying life, creating new and wonderful memories and growing old together. I'd now like to invite Shannon's auntie Lisa to please come forward for a very special reading. Ready? I've got it printed for you. That looks a bit better here. You can take this and come in here. Right. And give me your copy. Look nice. Thank you. The Art of Marriage by Wilford A. Peterson. A good marriage must be created. In marriage, the little things become the big things. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say, I love you at least once a day. It is never going to sleep angry. It is having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It is standing together facing the world. It is forming a circle of love that gathers the whole family. It is speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is having the capacity to forgive and to forget. It is giving each other room to grow. It is a common search for the good and the beautiful. It is not only marrying the right person, it is becoming the right partner. Okay, can I pop that in there? Do you want to give them a hug? Yeah. Ah, that was great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together and thank Lisa for us. Oh. Okay, you two, you are getting married, so you can stand a bit closer. <laughs> so now, 
Bradley Jason Harper and Shannon Rose Heath. As a registered celebrant, I am duly authorised by law to solemnise marriages according to law. So before you're joined in marriage in my presence and in the presence of these witnesses, I am to remind you of the solemn and binding nature of the relationship into which you are now about to enter. Now marriage according to law in Australia is a union of two people to the exclusion of all others voluntarily entered into for life. Now, one of the most understated but deepest relationships in human life is that between a caring father and his loving daughter. And one of the rare occasions that this relationship is acknowledged is at a wedding ceremony. Today, Shannon's father, Stephen, represents all of you, but he particularly represents his family. And today, in a very special gesture, he symbolises his own personal love for Shannon. So mindful of these values, I'd like to ask Stephen to please stand got a very special question to ask you. Stephen, on behalf of your family, do you give Shannon's hand in marriage to Brad with your love and your blessing? I do. Perfect. Thank you so much. You two can relax now. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> thank you. <laughs> in addition, Brad and Shannon would like to thank all of their parents, Jeffrey and Michelle and Stephen and Michelle, for all their love and support, not only during the planning of this wedding, but for always being there for them and uh, for all of them giving their blessing to this union. So thank you all. And so I'd now like to ask Brad and Shannon in the presence of their family and friends to declare their intent. So Brad, will you take Shannon to be your lawful wife, your lifelong partner? Will you make the daily effort to relate to her and to listen to her? Will you be gracious and the generous of the giving of yourself? And will you work for what is best for her for the rest of your life? I will. Correct answer. Perfect. <laughs> and Shannon, will you take Brad to be your husband, your lifelong partner? Will you strive to communicate with each other, inspire each other, say, I love you often and laugh a lot too, even when you're angry, <laughs> and to always remember that you are each other's best friend? I will. Perfect. So you've chosen today to become partners in life. So now it's my honour and my greatest privilege to invite you both to exchange your marriage vows as you now go hand in hand to your new life together. So what I'm going to do is ask you to repeat your legal vows after me and then I'm going to give you your vow cards with your personal pledge. So Brad, you're up first. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah? Yeah? Perfect. So there we go. Hold that up and look at Shannon. Okay. Hold hands with you up here. I call upon the persons here present. I call upon the persons here present to witness that I, Bradley, to witness that I, Bradley, take you, Shannon, take you, Shannon, to be my lawful wedded wife, to be my lawful wedded wife. Yep. Shannon, my partner in life, I come today to give you my hand, my heart, my love in marriage. I promise to encourage and inspire you, to laugh with you and to comfort you, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, for as long as we both shall live. Whatever the future holds, I will love you, stand by you throughout our lives together. Well done. So you're up next, okay. Hold it nice and close, okay. I call upon the persons here present. I call upon the persons here present. To witness that I, Shannon, to witness that I, Shannon, take you, Bradley, take you, Bradley, to be, to be my lawful wedded husband, to be my lawful wedded husband. Okay. Brad, you are my partner in life and my one true love. Because of you, I laugh, I smile, and look at the future with great joy. From this day forward, I give you my hand, my heart, and my love. I promise to always give you a kiss when I get home, and say I love you often. I can't wait to start our next chapter as husband and wife. I love you always and forever. So Brad and Shannon will now express their love for one another by the exchanging of rings. And these rings are a symbol of their love and their lifelong commitment to each other. So James, may we have the rings please? That's it. Oh, good, James. 
Come, come in here, darling. Come yeah, in. Just, it's okay, come in. It's okay, mate. So you take Brad's, and Brad, you take Shannon. Yep. Thanks, James. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> so Brad, take Shannon's left hand and please place the ring on her finger. Shannon, I offer you this ring. Shannon, I offer you this ring. With the promise to love you. With the promise to love you. Today, tomorrow. Today, tomorrow. And all the tomorrows to come. And all the tomorrows to come. Always remember. Always remember. That I will love you forever. That I will love you forever. Well done. So, Shannon, you take Brad's left hand, place the ring on his finger. <laughs> it's... <laughs> Brad, I offer you this ring. Brad, I offer you this ring. With a promise to love you. With a promise to love you. Today, tomorrow. Today, tomorrow. And all the tomorrows to come. And all the tomorrows to come. Always remember. Always remember. That I will love you forever. That I will love you forever. Well done. So just hold my hands now. And relax. <laughs> I will relax. <laughs> so Brad and Shannon, may these rings remind you daily of the promises that you've made to each other here today. Please wear them with love and with pride and with honour, and may you always be as happy together as you are today. So there's no greater happiness than that of sharing life with all its joys and all its cares as loving partners for life. For love gives life new meaning and has a very special way of growing stronger and deeper with every passing day. Life is so much happier and brighter when you're sharing the very special joys that comes with loving and giving and caring. So family and friends, today surrounded by lots of love, Brad and Shannon have declared before all of us that they'll live together in marriage and they've made special promises to each other and symbolise their love by the joining of hands, the taking of vows and the exchanging of rings. So Brad and Shannon, marriage is a joining of two hearts. May you both always be blessed in your hearts with the memory of this wonderful day. So therefore, it is indeed a very great pleasure that I now, with the authority vested in me by the laws of this country, that I do pronounce you husband and wife. So Brad, you may now share your first kiss with Shannon as your wife. Congratulations, you two. Yeah! It's official. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a brief moment now to sign the marriage register, which is just over here um, behind us. As long as it hasn't blown so, away. Beg your pardon? As long as it hasn't blown away. No, it hasn't blown away. It's all wrapped up there, safe and sound. So, if our two witnesses uh, could please join us, James and Emma. Um, but for everyone else, please don't wander off anywhere. We will only be a moment, and we'll be back in a moment to conclude the ceremony. Thank you. Okay, you want to get this? You want to yes, make this, this legal now? Yeah, okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You want to sign here? Yeah. In that box? Sign that Just one. Just your normal signature? Yeah. And the other side, the same on the other side? Oh, on that one? Yeah. <laughs> yep, we're going to do it three times. Yeah. And this one too, this is a nice, your nice signature here. Oh, I'm not good at nice signatures. Yeah, very nice one. Okay. Uh, I need to drop that. Okay. Pressure. <laughs> don't muck it up. <laughs> Mine varies so much. Wow, I don't even. That's a nice signature. Okay, Shannon. Mm -hmm. So here. <laughs> I just do like a B and then I scribble half up. Did you Nathan tell someone about this heavy car. <laughs> and the important part. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, God. So, because <laughs> his wife had already said she can't okay, come. Okay, thank you. Because the other reason. Um, now, he told her she, ra she was going to race up. James? Yep. Just, around here? Yeah. To stay with the oh. pen. Okay, before the pen? Oh. With the pen? Oh, no. Yeah. 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 The wind. We'll get you guys to come in now so we don't have to move you up to us. But behind? Yeah, you can, yeah, you can jump in behind, but close in. And you guys, yeah, hold the hands or something. Come on. 
I'm put my sunglasses on. I can't see. Right, right. Come on the side as well. Just lean in. I can't see. He's just squinting. You know, that's it. Let's go. Okay. Well, we don't move there. Oh. Oh. oh my god. Hey. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now witnesses, we better get all this done. Can I put my stay on now? No. No, five minutes. Oh, okay, we'll sit down. Just go and stand over there and relax with yeah. Shannon then. You sit down. Oh. So, I'm going to see this line here. Let's get them on. You have to print your name. Oh, your block letters. <laughs> block letters, including a middle name. Squint, I'm like squinting, squinting. Yes, yeah, that's it. Yeah, don't. It's hard. It's hard. <laughs> Just sign and I can it's, it, I'll squint with the other glasses. It's yep, not my vision. Okay. It's not blurry. It's just too bright. Just sign here. Yes. Yeah. That's one down. Here. <laughs> yeah. Same. Just something simple. And this one? The special one. <laughs> no. I'll definitely be getting one of the silicon ones for work. So you can do the same too. Just sign. I'll get my book in a minute just to make sure I've got it all spelled correctly. Yeah. 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 Well, just a special one. Yeah. See, he came up. I know about the silicon ones because of his incident with his <laughs> For the pressure. one had to get the cut off. Thank you. Thank you. Ronnie, do you want a photo with them holding this or something? These two, yeah, yeah. 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 He doesn't want to. Oh. Yes. You can get up now. Now so you can relax you guys. Oh, and I've got the speeches. Oh, you Pull your tail around. Uh, I'm not sure where they are. Hey. Shannon? Put your arm up at the yeah, it's done, yeah. Something like that. Yes. <laughs> that's it, that's it. Do it again, please. Let's do it again, please. I'll do that. <laughs> okay. Give me this. So we don't have where the rose petals are. Yeah, I don't know. There we go. But it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Take them off the table. But it is a bit windy. Ronnie said it was okay. Oh, did he? Yeah. Do you want me to go in and just yeah. double check? Yeah. Yeah. Who's got my oh. Yeah, the, the Ta-da! One of the other jobs that they have was supposed to do. They should have left them out. So I'll get oh, everyone on the, no, the yeah, aisles. Yeah. Well, okay. You just need to take it in your hand. It's there. Anybody out? I, I went looking for it. I got here. I went looking for it. I couldn't find it. Rose petals. Like, oh, I don't know where it is. They're in the fridge. Oh. Keeping nice and cold. Yeah, no, we just need to. Mm. Oh, Dad. It's all right. What did he do? Okay. Do you want me to get those ones out too? Yeah. Out the back there. Okay. 
Guys, would you mind just coming and taking some rose petals and as they walk out, you can throw it over them? Look at this, I'm on some my Some rose part. petals. I know. Oh, oh Emma texted me. Are you okay? I had, I had a tell fast this morning. <laughs> Sorry, darling. If, ladies and gentlemen, look, I'd just like to say that this has been a very oh, special occasion. <laughs> And I do know it means a great deal to both Brad and Shannon that you're all here to share it with them. Um, today they begin their married life together alongside the love of their families and the support of friends in a life of happiness and everlasting love. So Brad and Shannon, on behalf of everyone here today, congratulations and we all wish you a wonderful life together, every happiness for the future. And personally, just from me, from the bottom of my heart, I wish you both every happiness. <laughs> We've had a lovely journey together, a bit longer than we anticipated, but we're here today. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, that does bring us to the end of the formalities and I'd like to wish you all a wonderful evening. So at the end of the ceremony, there's going to be a group shot taken as well. So please don't wander off before that's taken. But there's just one thing left to do. Would you please get your rose petals ready and please stand and welcome for the very first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Harper. Congratulations! Oh my god, you're so fucking Now give Watch your back, watch your back, watch your back, watch your back. You got the roof? Say hi to everyone. You got the roof? Yeah, yeah, I will. Yeah. So we'll do a group and then we'll do family and bridal party and then. But do you want to say hi to people a bit first? Yeah, yeah. Finally, they're going to appreciate well you know he's intense if i can just have everyone's attention just put your hand up if you can hear me just wave around so i can hear know that you uh, can all hear perfectly oh fantastic Guys, you may have noticed, may or may have not have noticed, that we're, um, we're missing a couple of important people, kind of the bridal party and uh, you know, our bride and groom for this evening. Guys, they're waiting outside with anticipation to come and enter back in. Guys, should we get them in here? Yeah. All righty, so what I want from you guys is a lot of enthusiasm, they can feel really special, really welcome, because they've uh, had a very hot day, they've had to take some photos, a few setbacks, but they're all very excited to join us here today. And first up, we have, part of the bridal party, we have Sasha and Nathan. Give me a round of applause. I'll keep it coming for Kim and Anthony. But it's something that I must believe in And it's that when I look in your eyes Love is in the end and Next we have Aurora and Cameron Love is in the end In the thunder of the sea And I don't know if I'm just being Next we have our maid of honour, Emma, and best man, James. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you can all please be upstanding. The reason we're all here this evening, we just watch them get hitched to the beautiful ceremony. Or what the, the most amount of noise enthusiasm to welcome, please, Shannon and Bradley Harper!
ladies and gents. At the beginning of the evening, I asked you guys just to do a couple of things, and one of them was uh, to enjoy yourself. So, are you enjoying yourself so far? Uh, thank you so much. I was, I was very worried for a while. Um, Alright guys, we have come to the point of the evening. It is uh, the formalities and the speeches. And to start them off, we have our very proud man, our very proud man, a very proud man, our father of the bride, Stephen Heath. Please welcome up to the microphone. Yeah, no problems. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Well, good afternoon, everybody. My wife, Michelle, and I would like to welcome you all to celebrate the wedding of our lovely daughter, Shannon, to Brad, and to thank you for joining us on such a great occasion. And I would like to say a very special welcome to Brad's parents, Michelle and Jeff Harper, over there. Um, wasn't that a great ceremony? <laughs> and I'm glad the weather held up, because it, for the last few weeks, we've been nothing but rain, so I'm, I'm glad it was great. I would also like to thank everyone who's participated in the lead up to the wedding and those today who helped Shannon and Brad's day become a very special one. As parents, we all live in hope that one day our children will find the right partners to live their lives with and um, have a happy and productive life. So over the last five years that I've known Brad, we have come to realise how special he is, how special he is to Shannon and that he's a caring and loving and genuine young man. And both of us could have not a wish for a better son-in-law. Michelle and Jeff, uh, Brad is a great credit to both of you. And I would like to thank you for welcoming Shannon to your family, as you have over the last couple of years. That's been fantastic. So officially, Brad, I'd like to welcome you to the family. And the, <laughs> and the person I know who you, who you are, you'll look after Shannon to lead a very happy life together. A little bit of advice. <laughs> which has already been given, by the way. Um, I always think the other, uh, you always think of the other person, talk out difficult situations together, honestly, when they occur, as marriage is a partnership of mutual love and respect. Both Ma Shannon, you looked absolutely fantastic today. I was riding in the car, you were just amazing. Both Mum and I are very proud of you, as we always have been since you came out four weeks early <laughs> when you were born. We followed and assisted you with your activities in sport and education over the years. Some of your best achievements have been in sport and especially in cricket <laughs> and, and soccer where you started playing at school and then you progressed rapidly to higher honours very quickly. However, I believe your greatest achievement is the friend, it, it, she missed the friends you've made over the past 30 years and that you've always put them first and not yourself. I think that's fantastic. Shannon, after working with me for 11 years at Myers, <laughs> I found that you have great skills, compassion, leadership and diligence. And it is great credit to you that you have finalised your accounting degree whilst you've been working full time. So Shannon, with Brad at your side, I now know the two of you will lead, on, lead a very successful life at anything you want to do. So finally, I propose a toast to the happy couple. Please be upstanding and raise your glasses to Shannon and Brad. To Shannon and Brad. I haven't got my glass. <laughs> I didn't have a glass, that was a great. <laughs> oh, thank you. All right, ladies and gents, let's have a big round of applause for our father and uncle Brian. And next we get to hear from the other family. We get to hear from um, Brad's mother. Please welcome to the microphone, Michelle Harper. Thank you. Well, that's a very hard act to follow. Well done, Steve. Uh, firstly, I would, on behalf of the Harper family, the old Harper family, um, welcome you all and thank you for joining us tonight to celebrate the wedding of our son, Bradley, and his new wife, Shannon. And to you, Shannon, 
welcome Mrs Harper. <laughs> There's not very many of us, just two at the moment, so uh, we're in our own little club. <laughs> Uh, well, that's, that's, up, that's up to them. <laughs> uh, as Steve said, um, we each family welcomed the other um, of the partners five years ago, and it's been wonderful having Shannon as part of our family. And thank you for taking on Bradley. <laughs> But no, you're a wonderful couple and we wish you all the very best and look forward to sharing the rest of your lives in the future. And for everybody else, keep safe. <laughs> Thank you. Now, as you all know, we, they did run into a couple of um, obstacles. One of them was, you know, a global pandemic, which kind of got in the way. And then uh, the car on the way here, um, Brad's car kind of, I mean, does it, no one knows about that? Okay. Then we had a power outage, but none of these things got in the way of true love and those, these two got married today, yeah. And next we get to hear from our best man. Please welcome up to the microphone. We've got James Brennan. He's been Brad's uh, best friend since year seven, so he knows so much. And I'm giving him a microphone, so you've been warned. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, no pressure. Uh, so, uh, hello everyone. It is great to have you all here, and it's so nice to be surrounded by so many beautiful friends and family. For those that don't know me, my name is James. I've known Brad for more than 15 years, which makes me feel so old. <laughs> we went to high school together, and it's such a pleasure to be here today as Brad's best man. And I want to say what an honor it is that I was chosen to stand by your side today. Aww. Brad, it all <laughs> Brad has always been a great friend to me. I, along with any of his friends, would know Brad is someone you can always count on. He comes from such a smart and talented family, and I'm lucky to call Brad my friend. <laughs> Thank you to all those friends and relatives who have made the trip down to be here today for Brad and Shannon and a share in this occasion. To the bridesmaids, you all look amazing tonight. <laughs> you really do. Um, I remember when Brad first mentioned Shannon, and I could hear and see how excited he was. And Shannon, I'm just as happy as you are today, because I know that my best friend Brad has found his perfect match. <laughs> the two of you have a beautiful relationship, and I cannot imagine a better couple. Brad and Shannon share so many passions and interests, and both Brad and Shannon are so genuine and fun to be around. Thank you to all those involved in making this day the success it has been. And to Brad and Shannon, I wish you years of happiness and love. Never stop going the extra mile for each other. There are two things that will make a marriage last, a sense of humor and selective hearing. <laughs> to my best friend and his now beautiful bride, the now Mr. and Mrs. Harper, I'd like to join I'd like you to join me in wishing them all the wealth, health, and happiness, and raise your glass for the couple. James, you forgot your drink. Sorry. <laughs> he ran back for that. <laughs> It's all right, they can get another one. There's a whole bar, open bar. It's quite all right. All right. Um, so these guys had some history, but um, our maid of honor, Emma, they've been friends since she was five. So we've got more. So welcome up to the microphone, our maid of honor, Emma Edbrook.
<laughs> I, I write big, so it's fine. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Uh, for those that don't know me, my name is Emma, and I have known Shannon since 1997, <laughs> when we met in kindy. <laughs> they say that if a friendship lasts longer than seven years, it will last a lifetime. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Considering we have made it 25 years and counting, I'd say we will be best friends well into our next lives as well. The fact that there are others in this room who can say the same is a testament to how special a friend you are, Shan. You are a wonderful soul and an even better friend. I learned very quickly in our friendship to trust you and your judgment. In year one, you advised me against... <laughs> You advised me against go swinging on the monkey bars one last time just before recess ended and we had to go back to class. <laughs> I remember falling and breaking my arm like it was yesterday <laughs> and realising I should have listened to you. I have vivid memories of you guiding me through the start of PWSA netball as well. No matter... Oh, sorry. And <laughs> through countless other times in and out of school. No matter how important or insignificant a situation, you have always been there for me. I feel so lucky to have spent our childhood together, especially coming home from school to climb over my back fence and meet you in the park at Pearson Place. I wonder how many hours we spent in that park and in the pool growing up together. Sport was and still is a huge part of your life. Throughout primary school, we shared a love of competition and team sports and the best part of the week was always PWSA. <laughs> we tore it up on the netball courts, thanks to your gardens, and on the softball diamonds as well. I endured playing cricket <laughs> while watching you in your element. <laughs> We'd be reminded of our success in the weekly sport reports at assembly. <laughs> To top it off, being fellow house, ca house captains in Year 6 for Bly and Philip was something that I am still really proud of. <laughs> I'm so proud of the successful athlete that you have become today. Skip forward to our first day of Year 11 and my first day at Davidson High. Walking into the school grounds as the new kid, my, I was so nervous that my knees were physically shaking and I thought that was something that only happened in movies. When Mrs Anderson greeted me and told me that Shannon Heath was going to be my buddy, my nerves went instantly and they became excitement. I remember the gang greeting me that day <laughs> and with us finally being reunited, we've never looked back. Skip forward again to when you came and visited me in the Netherlands. I was so proud sh to show off my best friend all the way from Australia. <laughs> we sat in the square in Bruges, we indulged in food and fine wine and explored the canals and climbed right to the top of the bell tower. Our time in Europe is something that I will never forget, even if I'm still trying to forget that hangover I had <laughs> coming back to Eindhoven. <laughs> I could stand here and speak about our friendship literally all night, but I won't because today is about your future. Today is about your journey that you have started with your other kind of soulmate. I recall you telling me about this guy you've started seeing, called Brad. The way you spoke about him made you light up from the inside out, even with your calm and collected exterior, and anyone would have thought you were talking about Brad Pitt. <laughs> <laughs> There's a strong resemblance, let's be honest. <laughs> Brad, I have known Shannon for as long as I can remember, and I've never known her to be so happy and content within herself since meeting you. <laughs> you are the missing piece to her puzzle. Oh, gosh. <laughs> and together you are clearly a team that will be together forever. 
Shannon, it has been an honour to stand by you today and it has been an honour to stand by you as your best friend our whole lives so far and it will be an honour to do so till the day I die. <laughs> I love you and thank you for letting me be part of your life story. If everyone could please raise their glass. <laughs> To a long life of happiness, health and joy, to the bride and groom. Thank you. Ladies and gents, we do have one more speaker left this evening. Our groom this evening, Brad Pitt. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Bradley Cooper. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Bradley Harper. All right. Welcome up to the microphone. Brad is a hot boy's name, isn't it? I never realised until just then. <laughs> Starting to think I wish I'd uh, written something down, but... Uh... <laughs> With it. So for anyone that doesn't know me, I'm Brad. <laughs> I'm the groom. <laughs> First, James, Emma, just want to really thank you for everything you've done, the rest of the bridesmaids, the grooms. It's just, today is just, yeah, one of those days you just got to look back and go, we did it. <laughs> We're yeah, so thankful of everything that's actually... What you so thankful that for everything that's actually just come through. We're here, it's a year later than what we expected, but... It's Uncle Dannon, I have a wife. <laughs> it's, it's a weird feeling. So... Thank you. I want to also thank you, Ronnie, <laughs> Jesse, and Anthony. Where did you go? <laughs> thank you guys for helping us this. And I wish I could thank Louise, but she's not here. She's already gone. <laughs> we're celebrating. <laughs> uh, so, Steve, that speech, I don't know how to you know, say so that was just amazing. Thank you for welcoming me to your family. Mum, thank you. We've all just taken on this you know, family merger so, so well. Everyone's just amazing tonight. I, so I just want to toast. We get it Everyone to raise the glass. There we go. All right. Okay. Thank you. Ladies and gents, that concludes our speeches for this evening. But let's have a round of applause for all of our speakers. Seem they do a fantastic job.
seem so light. I can't be borrowed. I can't back down. I've been losing so much time. Cause it's you. Face. When the 
I still reach for him. Come on, boys. 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 Come